Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Richie Nottingham here. Back at it again, another video. Today, I'm going to tell you how you can play Steam VR games like Boneworks, Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades, or otherwise known as H3 VR, and a whole bunch of other Steam games on your Oculus Quest 2, or the original Oculus Quest, or the Oculus Quest, or the Oculus Rift S. Um, so step one, you basically have to get the Oculus Quest or Quest 2 or Rift. So I have it right here. That's step one. Cheapest one is $300 on Amazon. That's what I got for this. Very durable. I endure it. My friends have thrown the controllers and they still work good as new. And I, I mean thrown them <laughs> far. And they were all on accident. <laughs> but make sure, like the Wii straps, that you wear them. <laughs> Step two is basically to get a USB-C, which is what this port is. Come on, focus in there. This is basically a USB-C to USB-C. That's what you need to plug this USB-C to your computer, which I have right here. Um, and then you plug it, obviously, into the USB-C port of your headset, just like so. And I don't know if you can see. Yep. There's a light right there. That when you unplug it or turn it off, it should go. Yep. So you need the headset, you need the USB C to USB C, or USB C to USB A, which is just your regular, you know, uh, USB cable. Here, let me show you one. So your regular USB cable would be something like this. This is a USB-A. So we need USB-A to USB-C. And that will work as well. Um, you don't have to buy like the $80 expensive one. But keep in mind, if you do buy a cheaper cable, it's not going to last as longer. So if you keep it in a kinked position and not in like a straight long position, um, you're going to have some problems with it in the future. That's for sure. I'm starting to have problems with mine. Like sometimes it's not connecting. So if you do buy the $80 cable that they support or that they have, that one will last longer for sure. Um, now the next step, well, let me open steam real quick. Okay, the next step for you to do is you need to open um, your web browser and in the link in the description there will be two links or no one link for uh, the software. So software is the oculusquest.com slash setup slash uh, this will be in the description so you can just click on it all you have to do is come over here to oculus link click download software but that's if you have the oculus the first oculus quest or the oculus quest 2 um, so you have to download the software or if you have the Oculus Rift S, you can download that software there. And actually, here's the, the software for the Oculus Quest. So you can download that there. Um, but uh, then once you download it, um, hold on, let me open up my software. So 
So once you've downloaded this software, it should come up here. Let me change it as this. And basically, you can buy all your games and stuff here. Uh, but in Steam VR, so basically, when you come, so you it will open up, and you have to like sign in with Facebook and everything. Do that, then click Library, then click Filters, then click Unknown Sources. Uh, Oculus for some reason determines that Steam VR is an unknown source. I don't know why, but that's their thing. But make sure that's always checked because then you can click Steam VR. Okay, so to get Steam VR, you obviously have to open up Steam. Why is it not showing? There we go. So you have to open up Steam, go to the Steam store, search up Steam VR. Then this main Steam VR will come up. You can also do this performance test to see if your computer will perform Steam VR efficiently. So you click main Steam VR and then you click uh, play or download or whatever, and it'll load up and whatnot. So that, so then once you have all that set up and ready to go, you can then. Uh, play VR like I can um, So yeah, I'm gonna show you how I get so So to how I do it. I take my headset It's already plugged into the motherboard You don't have to plug the USB-C to your GPU or whatever. It just has to be plugged into a USB port or a micro or a USB-C port and whatnot also a pro tip you can also run it through here, through the back of the headset, so that this wire doesn't get in your way. It's really nice. You can then plug it in, put on the headset, and then turn it on and go into the... So you'll go into the regular Steam, and then you can click Enable Steam, or Enable Oculus Link. And then you'll be transferred over to the desktop version of Oculus. And then you can run Steam VR through that. And you can play Boneworks, VR Chat, Hot Dogs. You can play Subnautica, which is really fun. Um, you can do all sorts of things with that. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this informative review and whatnot of my headset. Um, also, one thing I do want to mention before you go, I'm selling, I'm probably going to sell this guitar. I'm not sure about it. I kind of want to keep that guitar. This space is not mine, so I'm not selling it. This guitar, I'm definitely going to sell. And then this guitar right here, I'm also going to sell because it's a Floyd Rose Bridge and it's got no strings. The only stringed electric guitar would be this one. And that's a stringed bass. So it's already got strings on it. When I, I'm not selling the bass. No bass is being sold. Oops. <laughs> but uh, yeah. And I'm probably going to get like a really nice guitar. So I'm going to do some videos about that. Um, but that's probably in the next couple months. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys do enjoy. And I hope you guys liked the BeamNG Drive video that I posted. So yeah, check that BeamNG Drive video out. It's really hilarious. See ya.